Greetings on Trading the Hot to the Tokyo Store, where today we play Wizzy and Dover. That's the whole bit. I wrote this down. Roll film! So I was going to review a game called Phantom Trigger for the Nintendo Switch today, but spoiler alert, it's not very fun. So I bought this game, recorded it, wrote the script, and edited the entire thing in just one day. Get on my level. But just because I basically finished the Phantom Trigger episode before trashing it, I am going to review that game in one single breath. Phantom Trigger isn't necessarily a bad game, the controls and visuals are actually pretty tight and the story is very interesting and told in an even more interesting way, but the main problem with the game lies in its unoriginality and lack of differentiation from other games like it mainly Bastion, the Hyperlight Drifter, and Kamiko. <gasps> We Ski and Snowboard is a game that I found at GameStop for $1. That's all I know about it. It starts with quite possibly the hardest decision you'll ever make. Would you like to ski or snowboard? Alright, I made my character. Let's go. Oh, the game can't be read? Of course it can't be read. It's a video game, not a book. <laughs> There are quite a few modes that can be played, ranging from practice, to race challenges, to skiing down certain courses, to my favorite, just exploring. The controls in this game are some of the most precise and tight controls I've ever used in a video game. Oh wait, th that's the wrong script. Uh... Ah, here we go. The controls in this game blow. You really want to know how to control this game? Like this. See, I know it looks awkward and tiring, but it is. I started just skiing around, and this game is super easy. Almost too easy. I want adventure. I want death-defying jumps. So let's go to the hardest trail in the game. I'm sure we'll be fine. See? I'm fine. All jokes aside, this game actually is pretty peaceful, and it's really interesting to just explore and find hidden caves and paths to travel on and do tricks. Yeah! Oh. Uh-huh. Okay. Why are you interrupting my sick jump? Thank you. I blame you, game. I blame you. Hear that music? What? No? That's because there is none! There isn't much of a point to this game, really, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I would categorize Wii Ski and Snowboard as an exploration game. This is the kind of game I would pull out and play so I could just explore while I'm bored or waiting for someone. The only problem it has is it's on the Wii, and nobody's gonna pull out their Wii for anything less than a classic, like Super Mario Galaxy, Skyward Sword, or WarioWare Smooth Moves. Don't laugh, that game is freaking tight! If this was on Nintendo Switch, I would play it all the time because of its portable nature, and if the controls could be set to buttons. And that's Whiskey and Snowboard. Would I call it a hidden gem? Eh, more of like a bonus fry you sometimes find in your bag when you go to McDonald's. You know, the extra fry you find at the bottom of your bag whenever you're done eating your other fries? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you know what I'm talking about. She gets it. This lady over here gets it. There's no one there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to my channel, The Toka Show. And also give that little bell a ding -a ling ling so you are notified for whenever my new videos come out. I have new videos come out every Tuesday and Saturday. Also, while you're at it, follow my Twitter. Alright, that's all for today, guys. Peace out. It's so hot. Oh.